I literally just posted my last vlog like 10 minutes ago and I am ready to jump in and start the next one. I need to get some studio time in this week because we are starting online school. For my studio class, our teacher wants us to get a minimum of six hours in of studio time each week. second class for the day. <laughs> so I just talked with two of my friends on Zoom for like six hours. Yeah, I think it's been good so far. And and like you said, a lot of the comments um, people have put up. So today has been kind of a slow day, like productivity wise. I took a walk this morning as usual. I've been trying to get out each morning just so I can get some fresh air and exercise. And then right after that, I tuned into my painting class. While I watch that class, I usually will be painting with oil paint, but today I painted it with nail polish and did my nails and then it took them a while to dry so I was just completely useless. After painting class I decided to tackle some studio practices homework. For that we're doing a little critique session online and I just wanted to share with you guys what I posted for that and some of the responses that I got. So we were supposed to post three works of art and I decided to do this one, this one, which isn't finished yet. And just for the heck of it I decided to also submit one of my collages since I've been doing some collage work over spring break. And people have been pretty good at giving replies even though it's all just online. So I appreciate the level of depth and effort people put into their critiques. I think it's very important to get a good critique where people go beyond just surface value type things. This one was everybody's favorite piece. They said that the glass was done pre pretty realistically. Um, and also the flowers really popped out from the background, especially like the kind of blue tint. For this piece, a lot of people said that it was pretty hard to like focus on something and it just seems like there's too much happening, which I, I totally get that. The general consensus was that there's just too much going on. So we'll see if I can fix that and maybe bring out the foreground a little bit more from the background. And then for the collage, I didn't get quite as much feedback on this one. People, some people said that they liked it and they liked that I'm branching out and trying like new mediums. One girl said that she was interested to see like what other collages I could do and show like emotion through those. So that's inspiring me to keep up with collaging. So overall, the critique was pretty good. I was happy with it. And I spent a long time this morning responding to a bunch of other people's work, giving them a critique as well. And even though it's time consuming, it's pretty good and honestly kind of fun just to be able to still be a community, um, a studio community of artists contributing to each other even though we are all all across the states right now. So what I'm doing right now is uploading some documentation to my studio class for the last phase that we did. So we have like four or five phases in the semester and at the end of each phase our teacher wants us to submit at least three works that we did for critique and then we ha also have to document those and then we have to plan what we're going to be working on for the next phase. I just created a PDF and I added photos of all the things I have been working on. It's definitely a good thing to do to document as much as possible as an artist. I did a little like recap um, an assessment of phase three and I talked about the things that I did in phase three and the things that I want to continue 
And then I also did a proposal for phase four of like what I want to do, what I want to continue working on. And I'm actually pretty excited right now. So I just wanted to share with you guys a few of the things that I'm looking at doing for phase four. So in phase three, I did, uh, you guys saw the last vlogs, I did collaging a lot. I also had that photo shoot and I have also been working on painting, obviously. And I have the map challenge that I've been working on. Um, with you guys. So all of those pretty much I want to continue into phase four. I want to keep working on collage. Photography. I really enjoy photography. It's a great way to get your ideas out a little bit quicker. Um, you're not taking all the time to render it with a painting or a drawing. As far as what I want to do in phase four, continue all those things. But I also want to center my focus around like nostalgia and memory. I'm just fascinated with that and like what events in the past have all built up and like made me the person that I am today. People I've crossed paths with, the moments that are, are just like golden in your memory. You kind of look back on everything with like rose colored glasses. I love documenting things like that. I'm definitely one of those people to save like little scraps and photos just so you can remember them later. I'm working on some scrapbooks right now that have those little bits and pieces of my life from like before kindergarten up until now. Obviously I have a fascination with that and so I thought it would be cool to focus that into my art practice and do a piece or two or more um, centered around nostalgia and memory. What I want to do is a transfer piece using transfer paper which has graphite on the back of it. You put the graphite side against the canvas or the paper and then you can put a photo or something else over that graphite paper and then just trace the photo. The outline that you traced will be on the canvas. So I want to do a piece like that. I have a 20 by 24 canvas over here that I hope to use. I think that's what you guys are going to see me working on for my personal studio practice. Yeah, I'm just excited so I just wanted to share that. So I think I'm done talking for the day. Good morning everybody. I stayed up pretty late last night talking with my friends, but also the entire time I was working on editing the prints, re-editing them. Most of them needed to be a bit brighter, um, and I'm going to order those again today. I will post them for sale, and I'm so happy I can finally post them. It's been a long time since I finished the pieces, and I've been wanting to sell prints for a while. This morning, I just went outside and took a picture of this one as well because I've had some requests to get this one printed, so I'm going to now edit that and put that in this print order. I have made really good progress on this piece, but I am very tired right now. I have been painting basically non-stop for like three to four hours at this point and I'm so determined to get this piece done. I need to get out, get some fresh air, so I'm gonna go on a quick little walk um, and I may pick this up again later tonight. So I just went live on Instagram and I got a lot done on this. I'm so happy with it so far. I still need to work on this jar and it's kind of the bane of my existence right now. Sunday. I kind of went all out with breakfast today. I made myself a smoothie bowl. I'm gonna get my laptop out and eat breakfast while I work on homework. Today will be all about art history because I have a paper, a bibliography, and a test all due tonight. It's a lovely day. I wish I weren't stuck inside, but this is this is what it is.
I just had the time of my life during painting class. I, again, turned off my video and my audio so that I could do my own stuff. And today, the stuff involved the wildflowers that I picked for this painting and a few new ones that I picked on a walk this morning. I went through a bunch of my old drawings and paintings and arranged the flowers in like little flower crowns and stuff. <laughs> it was great. I'm so happy. to end this vlog with some really exciting news. These long-awaited prints are finally, finally on my Etsy store and I am so, so excited about it. I've been wanting to release new prints for so long. These are all printed on fine art quality matte paper and they will all come hand signed by me. So be sure to get your print, guys. The link is in the description. Again, it's on my Etsy shop and I really, really hope you guys like these. I am so very excited to finally be able to bring them to you. And with that being said, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I also hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and keeping your spirits up. And maybe this video can help a little bit with that. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and a comment. And if you'd like to see more of me and my art, then be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget to buy prints. Okay, bye guys! <laughs>